Uh, yeah, if you are using uh, Linux, I think a better option would be to just install um, Wine. Because when you have Wine, you can install Windows applications on it. So uh, let me see where I will find the link. No, I'm coming. I will just find the link for you. Wine for Linux. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, wine. You find it in the Linux. Um, do they call it store or whatever they call it? But, but you'd find it there. Once you download it, it gives you a Windows um, running environment whereby you can install Windows applications on Linux. So you install the Wine, and then you go to Wine, and inside Wine, you then install the um, the, 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 the tabula. So I think that should work for you. Um, OK, recording now. All right. So let's say that I already have my tabula installed and like I said, um, it's a zip file. <clears throat> Since you are going to use Windows, you, um, you would also exp um, have the same experience. It's going to be a zip file and you unzip it. Once you unzip it, it will turn into a folder. Oh, sorry. Share screen. Share screen. I think I have a lot of screens. Can you see my screen now? Okay, so if once you have the tabula, you download it as a Windows file, you, so you can open it in Wine, just like we would do for our Windows. And then you unzip it or you unwrap it. It's going to be, um, it will come as a folder like this, tabula. <clears throat> Then you open your tabula, the green one, and it takes a few seconds to load up. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so once it's loaded up, it will open in a in a, um, as a web application. Then I already downloaded <clears throat> the Dagmani dictionary. So I will just browse to the PDF Dagmani dictionary, open, and then I import. I will close the previous ones that I did. Okay, I'll just import. I did two yesterday and then the day before. So it will take like a minute to import everything.
Okay. So <clears throat> it has imported the entire PDF. So what we do is um, we are only interested in the tables, the tables part. Okay. So beginning from here, this is the first word, second, third, fourth, and, and the other. So now you can highlight the tables one by one from page to page, but now we have. 236 pages, which is going to be um, impossible to do. So you can auto detect the tables by clicking on the auto detect here. And then it will detect all of the tables and then highlight them for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, so once it's, import, um, it's imported, um, then kind of like a PDF that we just upload in this form. So now, Turbo wanted to extract the um, words, ma, and they are in tables, so each page, this is on table, the next page, table of words, the next page, table of words. So we can decide to highlight the tables and then extract it. Something like this. So you can highlight this, for example, and then you extract it. Go to the next um, set of words, highlight it, extract it in that order. But that will take a lot of time because we have so many pages, different pages. So I don't want to do that. I want to try and auto detect the tables. And by that, I'll just click on auto detect here. Then it will attempt to detect all of the tables that exist. For some of the tables, it might miss a few words. In that case, you just have to pull down um stretch it a bit if that allows if it doesn't allow no problem stretch it a little bit for those that it, it um it didn't cover the the, the, the table didn't cover Let's stretch this a bit this is good this is good this is good just so that we don't miss any word so now all of the pages have been detected and we just have to stretch it to cover all of the words. When that is done, we then go to preview and export. Okay, so under preview and export, the table now looks somehow close to what a spreadsheet would look like. Everything looks good. So we simply, we make sure that we have a CSV so we can open it in Excel and then we export. And it's, once we export, it's going to try to download it. So I'll just download. It's not a very big file. 37 kilobyte. So now we have, um, I just opened the file. And we have our words in a big jumble. But at least we have something to start with. So I would just delete something like this because I don't need these introductions. No. I'll just delete everything else aside from the words in the first column because that's where the words are. I will delete this. And then this is part of the introduction. Part of the introduction. I can delete everything from here.
then I delete this. Then now I have a list of words. I don't know how many, but it says 379. Yeah, that is not bad. <clears throat> so 379 words, you can just copy them and then go and paste it. But before we copy, um, empty spaces need there and let's just try and sort it so that the empty spaces are no more. So if we sort it, all of the words now follow each other. In that case, we copy everything. And then we can then go to our patching name spreadsheet. Yeah, so once we paste it here, I'll just try and, oop, sorry, it is the wrong place. Once we paste it here, formatting messes up for some of them because they are Latin characters. So that is when we need people to actually, you know, sort of decipher what the, the actual word should be. So, but at least, you know, the person has something to start with. And then someone else could do the other spreadsheets. And then we have three spreadsheets. And um, yeah. So, when the little what I've added. So, like I said, it's just an attempt to help people, you know, find words, but they can do without it if they don't want to use it. So that is that is how the tabular works. <clears throat> I'll stop sharing now. And um turn to them record on my on the, if they want to use that approach or if they just want to go through each page by page and then copy the words and paste it. <clears throat> So um, Farah, she just joined us, but I think we are done with the meeting, unfortunately. So Farah, she, I, I was just, um, I just needed to walk started through the, how to use the software, the tabula to extract words, just in case um, someone might, um, need to use that approach so if you um yeah that's what we're doing i wasn't expecting you to join the call but <laughs> oh. no 7 30 right uh 7 30. I think tomorrow's group three, they have this at eight tomorrow. Let me just check. Um, so yesterday yours was eight o'clock, right? Yeah, eight. And then um, Zod and Mami group two, that is, um, that is what's 7.30. Then tomorrow we don't have, and then group three has, 7.30 on Friday. Then group four has um, four o'clock p.m. on Saturday. Then group, the last one is when? The last one is on Sunday, 10 a.m. So, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm at access to uh, batch number spreadsheets, ma. Yes. So, Nindene, you the last spreadsheet, man. Um, the first and um, the main activity, ma. 
But aside from that, Mindene, being you down, we have different sheets inside that spreadsheet. So there's another spreadsheet called instructions. And uh, instructions, man, is just, you know, helping people with the steps that they would take. Then the third one, my, is volunteers. And with the volunteers, man, we... So Sadiq prepared this. I don't know anyone. I don't know them myself, but they have the list of the people. I think this one shouldn't be here. Because um, a group, my, they are supposed to be eight. Then group two, one person. Group three, one person. Group four, there will be 10 people. And then the last group are just two people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the group four, there are 10 people. Yeah, there are 10. So eight, one, one, 10, two. That's 22. Yeah, so yeah, um, that's true. So the requirement for group one, you guys need a laptop. A fresh group man. Group two, learn by me, he needs a laptop because he needs to be able to tick. If you are using the phone, it's difficult to tick yes or no. So group two person needs a laptop. Group three, they also need a laptop. But group four, um, there. They actually can't even use a laptop. They have to use a smartphone because um, we and Zhang's um, application is Zhang. Record my it's a um, it's an Android application, so you can install it as a you know program on your laptop. So they can even use laptops. They need a phone, and they can use um, iPhones because it's, the app is an Android application. So the requirement there is an um, Android application. Then the last group, they can use either a smartphone or a laptop because you just click to listen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is that word uh, or something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, so actually make that decision. Yeah. Yeah. So let's um let's um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, go on. Yeah, I, I thought mm. Yeah, so um, I think just to come um, b uh, before that, uh, uh, let's talk about uh, Rashid Nuri's content. So I think that um, that's very true. We should have more than one head thinking about that. In that case, turn to Zhang, um, turn to your uh, group trail and money. He should again. Um, okay, so. But yeah, I think to you, um, I think basically they are doing the same thing. Just that one person is concentrating on <laughs> giving the first form of validation, and then the second person will check the spelling. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Yes, it will have an effect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Coordination. Yeah. So, so let's just add it. I write now to the instructions so that we don't forget. I will just add a new column. Oops, sorry. It's um, one, two, three. Yeah. So he should also um, do a second validation. the words in B, column B, one of his tasks before checking the spelling. I think now that should be fine. So he's, he's basically adding to the validation that group two is going to do before coming to continue his main task of, you know, correcting the spelling. And I just also want, I think Sadiq mentioned about the, the recording map. One of the requirements is that we should have um, a balance of both males and females. And then especially I added the three different Agbani dialects map. So, you know, we have, we have three dialects. Most of us speak, uh, <laughs> um, 
what do you call it? Um, Western Dagbani dialect. So Tumala Nanung dialect, then we have Tumosili, which is East um, Western Dagbani. Senior Shama, then can I marry him? Nayale, um, Banyar, um, Tayam Nayale. So, Steve, if uh, Sadek, you can find a like a mixture of like people who speak these different, who have these three different tonations, that would help. And then a mixture of females too would be great. So, I think we should even have more females in this role than males. That would be better for the group four. So let's see how you would come up with. Um, selecting the volunteers for that. I'll leave that to you guys to decide. And then the last group is just um, telling us what to do. Some of the recordings are wrong. Some of them have tonal mistakes. Some of them, the length of the audio is just terribly bad. So in that meeting, we would go through all the different possibilities that are there. OK. So, um, yeah, that is it. So, I thought I should, um, I don't know, uh, um, what I can't even remark by, even distributing to my mouth, that be, um, you are still talking about it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, eight. Mm. Yeah. We have until December 1 to start, so you don't have to put pressure on them now. The project starts on December 1, but if you are able to start earlier, that's good. But if you don't start earlier, too, that's also fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, mm, yeah, that's great. But um, but do you have any updates about when the money would arrive? Because I saw that they, they sent some emails today so that it will be better we give them the money before the project starts so that they can, you know, buy data or if buy routers, if they want, some of them might have routers already or, I mean, they decide what to do with the money. So we just give them the money and they do what they want with it, if they want to buy data or router or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point.
Ya. Hmm. Hmm. Ya. Ya. It's true. It's true. But um, do we have an estimate of when I learned my name Oh, he has left. I think, oops, he has left. Because I think I saw an email. I think they once, they, they, they sent an email to um, Zumabu, I don't even remember. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, so it's just the approval, not the transfer of the money yet. Okay, okay. Uh, let's, let me see what is on the funds. Okay, and the day say they were fund. Let me just check the history. It's on about twenty fifth. Okay, so um, they've changed it to uh, proposed to fund uh, to fund it. And that is today, so it normally takes some time. They will send you guys <coughs> um, um, an agreement, Shelley. Then K sign a cascane and then uh then they was they would do um they would do the wiring, which might also take let's say ten working days. Um if today is twenty fifth, yeah, no problem. We can we can manage. So let's say maybe by next week or next two weeks the the money should should be in then at least we are safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's up to the five of you to, to decide because left on to me, I, I would suggest that you buy the routers for people. But the mobile router number, let me just show you the MTN table net router number. Um, I don't know which one do you use? Which router do you use? Okay, yeah, because the this one, if it's left onto me, this is what I will buy because it is big. It is you can use it for your entire family, and it's going to carry range my land now very fast. And because we are looking at long term projects, you know it will be helpful in the very long run. But that is up to you if you want to buy. The small routers, small small. The thing about the small routers is that the price and the table net is the same thing. <laughs> so, yeah, it's basically the same thing. So, no, 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 no. It, it's the same thing. It's the all three hundred cities. So, I put one in the the last one. Then you can use it, you know, for your home or for yourself. But again, that's up to you. Yeah, last in it, then you're in trouble. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I, 
Well, um, I think the five of you should be discussing this and conclude because I don't want to impose anything on you guys who <laughs> that you don't want to do. So, so just come up with whatever you want to do. That feels right. Mm, it's for me it doesn't really matter what you do uh, around the day if i had my chance i would just give the money to people to decide what they want to do whether they want to buy routers whether they want to buy mobile routers or table nets or whatever and if we give them um if 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 we show that we trust them i, I think they would not disappoint us you know that we trust them with whatever decision that they would they would come up with yeah yes okay so they are more reliable mm -hmm. okay okay mm, yeah yeah, let's give them that impression. Yeah, let's give them that impression that we trust them and then the yeah, adults, they would do the right thing. I think that would help. Okay, don't want to check on Cha, so that's Kali. All right, all right. No man, let us see. Naman Larajil. Naman Larajil, don't worry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so, so thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum. <laughs>